This is a 1995 Parker Fly guitar. I bought this about 10 years ago off eBay and it's been working really great. I really love the guitar, but unfortunately one of my piezo pickups here went bad in this saddle here. And um, I remember years ago when the Parker Guitar Forum was still around. Um, I remember some posts that people would put on there saying that their saddle broke and they fix it. And I seem to remember one guy saying that he super glued his back together and it worked. And so when mine failed, I thought I would try to do the super glue thing and see if it works. Um, unfortunately, you cannot get these saddles anymore. I've been looking on eBay. Um, they're kind of non-existent. This was the first pattern of saddle that they had. They had a second pattern called a dog bone, which you'll find on um, the so-called refined flies. And then later when uh, U.S. Music bought Parker, they had a third kind of saddle, which was kind of a one-piece affair that didn't have these separate pieces that could uh, break or become detached from the saddle. So, so I thought I'd try to see if the super glue thing works. Now, you're probably asking, well, how do I know if my piezo is bad? There's kind of three things that are the dead giveaways. You'll either have a really low output on one, of, on one of your saddles. You'll have a crackling noise, and you can also have um, a hum. So when you're just using your piezo pickups only, and you're in piezo pickups only in that position there, you just have this hum, and you don't know where it's coming from. It's, it's because the, the pickup is failing, it's not making a good connection, and uh, it, it hums for, for whatever reason. So, so let's see if the super glue thing actually works. So I had one of my saddles go dodgy on me on my Parker Fly. This is one of the original Parker Fly saddles that had the so-called BB in it. And uh, I decided I was gonna try to fix it tonight. And um, apparently this Piezo crystal is broken. Um, I actually kind of broke it trying to pry this out of here, but I think someone actually kind of messed it up. A previous owner appeared to have tried to turn this thing like it was a screw because they were ignorant about how Parker flies work. And I think they kind of uh, messed it up, and then I went ahead and kind of broke it all together so I've just been kind of examining how this thing works and I believe that I can just super glue this back onto here and when we have the string pressure on on top of the saddle here it it should get a good electrical signal I went ahead and uh to make sure that I didn't have a dodgy wiring connection as well. And uh, it's kind of interesting how these things are constructed. Never really looked closely at one. I've never had to take one apart. So I'm going to try super gluing this little piece on here and put it back in the guitar. All right, so you put a little drop of cyanoacrylate glue on there and um, glued the little so-called BB back in there and um, applied some pressure to it to make sure it gets a good bond and so now I'm going to reinstall it in the guitar and hopefully it will be working again. Here's a view of the bridge with the saddles and the saddle removed and I'm going to go ahead and put that back in in a minute but I thought I'd just take a second to remark how Ken Parker was really a smart guy. Like if you've ever worked on a Floyd Rose trying to intonate it, you know, these little screws are right under the strings and you can't get to them. It's a pain in the behind. Ken actually offset these things so you could easily adjust the intonation and uh, not have, you know, the screws under the strings. I think that's pretty smart. Anyways, the um, 
saddle goes in here and this little wire passes through this hole and gets soldered onto the back of the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and install that now and uh, re-solder it and see if it works. Here's just a quick view of the back of the bridge with the wire soldered back on. It was this little wire right here and uh, soldered back on. So we're going to put the flat spring back in here and tune it back up to its normal tuning and see if it works. So I put this back in the guitar and um, it basically has almost no signal. So um, I'm still not convinced that I can't fix this, but it's going to be a little trickier than I thought. And um, so what I did is I consulted the patent documents for the Parker Fly and I found where it talks about the piezo pickups and uh, because I wanted to see exactly how these are constructed. Now, obviously, this is a little bit different than, than what's here. But essentially, mechanically, it's the same thing. So um, here you can see the various parts. They call this the cap member. This is where your string sits in the little groove. Then you've got the piezoelectric disc below that, a, a little recess that this element is bonded to the metallic support member. This goes through the dielectric base, which was that reddish kind of Bakelite looking thing on the underside that you could see earlier in the video. And then that gets soldered. A wire gets soldered to this little post, which I went ahead and drew in here. And uh, in the document, they're talking about um, Things like uh, conductive epoxy, adhesives, and this kind of stuff. And uh, so I've concluded that the, I think the super glue on in, in between the two pieces of the piezo element are actually acting like an insulator and it's preventing electrical signal from the vibration of this cap here uh, to get transmitted to the rest of the system. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is pull this back off, clean up, clean off the super glue again, and then um, I'm gonna find some sort of conductive something to attach this cap back to the, the piezo element that's underneath it. So um, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so here I've Removed this and cleaned off as much super glue as I could get off. I'm still not quite done, but with this not glued on and it's just sitting here, if I do a tap test, it's it's conducting. So that tells me that if I can just get this bonded to the crystal underneath, it should work. Just have to figure out what, how I'm going to do it. Some sort of conductive bonding of some type. So I think my solution is going to be just rubbing a bunch of graphite from this mechanical pencil. This is HB lead in here. I'm just going to cover this liberally with some some lead and on the, the cap piece here and uh, I'm going to super glue it together and I think it probably will conduct then. Uh, I went ahead and tested this piece of lead here with the continuity checker on my multimeter and it seems to conduct very well so I think that might just work. Okay, well this is now my second attempt at getting this to work. I, I did the graphite and super glue in here and it was picking up some signal but it sounded really weak and almost more like a microphonic secondary effect as opposed to a primary effect of directly picking up the vibration of the strings. So I think maybe 
I just need a lot more graphite. And uh, so I guess we'll try that and see if we have any better effect. I'm almost, I'm also thinking maybe some copper shielding tape between these two pieces might actually be something to try. So maybe I'll try that. And graphite, I don't know. This is a little trickier than I thought it was gonna be.